John, thank you so much for joining us here at the Forbes Video Network. Thank you. I want to start off by asking you the question, your company, BBDO, works with some of the most recognizable companies in the world, from Sony to GE to FedEx. Can you talk to me about the characteristics that define a successful campaign? Sure. I think it starts with a really healthy relationship with a client. I think sometimes clients, they don't necessarily know exactly what to ask for, so it's up to us as an agency to really ferret around and truly understand what the core objectives are. Then as we go about developing a campaign, it's really important for us to be chefs, not waiters. Not just provide what's been asked for, but to actually bring a much bigger, broader, we call them platform mm -hmm. ideas. Now they're rooted in reductionist thinking, mm -hmm. but they really come to life, they blossom across all different mediums. Not just TV, but TV and digital and outdoor and experiential and a whole heck of a lot more. What I've been seeing is a lot of clients are trying to be in that explorative phase of their campaign right now. Yeah. Talk to me about how you help clients become comfortable with risk. Well, to answer that question, I'm going to go back to the recession, okay? I think if there was one silver lining in terms of the recession, I think that it taught us to do a lot more with less. It helped us to become scrappier, more nimble, uh, more flexible in terms of our thinking. So I think that, that when we approach clients and we talk about you know, what, what we can do for them and we deliver on what we say we can do for them, I think being ruthlessly focused on trying to think outside the box is something that we always try and do. Earlier you talked about the need for clients to really embrace failure because mm. failure really is a learning point. It's pivotal in going forward in that campaign. Sure. Are there campaigns that you guys have worked on that have been failures but it actually proved to be a good foundation for learning forward with your client? Yes, we like to think in, in, in terms of failing small. So taking calculated risks and experimenting. There was a lot of experimentation that's gone on in the marketplace over the last three, four years despite the down economy. The outgrowth of that is, now that we're coming out the other end of that, is we can learn from some of these mistakes and we can go about it the right way going forward. And so that's really what I'm seeing going on right now. Do you have any examples to point to this point? I think one of the things we've learned is to make absolutely sure that everything we do has a sense of purpose. I think in the old days, like three, four years ago, I think there was a sense to really do cool, creative work. You know, everything had to be digital. I think today, you know that the, the current climate doesn't afford for that mm -hmm. so we've got to we've got to be very very careful to make sure that everything that we do has a clear sense of purpose so you know whether that sense of purpose is to drive behavior change whether it's to build affinity and trust I mean uh, whether it's whether it's to be overly simplistic in this overly complex mm -hmm. world sometimes it can be as simple and, and as direct as that